YouTube. Back with another edition of the Butcher Block. Today we're going to be doing a uh, top round, cutting up some top round steaks, Swiss steak, uh, top round roast. So uh, let's go. All right, here is our 30 pound choice Angus top round. Uh, as you can see, there's a big old layer of fat on the top here. There's quite a bit on the bottom as well, but we're going to save that for later after our cuts. We'll trim that off. Uh, what I like to do first is take off this cap and since this is I'm actually just going to be doing steaks um, I'm going to take off this about three four inches over here that I'll use later for our other things but it just makes the whole uh, slice process a lot easier so I will right, we'll speed the video up a little bit so you can see me just take off this fat and then we'll go from there off any of this ugly looking fat. I'm going to leave a little bit of this cap on the back on because that's where I'm going to get my roast from and I don't mind a little extra fat on the roast so just trim off enough, make a nice rounded edge. Like I said, since I'm doing, if I was doing roast, I would leave this on, leave it as part of all of the roast, but most of this is going to be steaks, so I'd rather just trim off this now rather than do it off every individual steak. So what I do is I find the seam here, come about right there, I'm just going to do a nice rounded cut, something like that. And a lot of this can be used for stew meat, stir fry whatever all right so there we have a nice trimmed piece of top around here all right now first thing we're going to do is take a small about inch face cut off of this and my first four or five steaks I get off of this I'm going to put into a uh, Swiss steak just because they're not quite as pretty as the other ones and they look better once you put them through the cuber so and I go about half inch three quarter inch on these Remember to let your knife do the work for you. Don't be see it. Don't be sawing at it too hard. You get kind of ugly cuts. We got our pile of steaks here, and just for the final trimming, like I said, I didn't do anything off the bottom originally, so now we're just going to just take a little bit of this fat, kind of shape the steak a little bit. It's perfect there. That's what I'm looking for on my tray. Um, some of these with this top piece, I like to trim off. Just make it look a little nicer. So 
Some people will leave this fat on the bottom. My customers tend to like it better trimmed up. I'm gonna make roast out of this. All this stuff over here can be used for any kind of stir fry, stew meat, um, you know, my fat and everything else I used to used to grind into 75% lean hamburger. But all this little stuff just makes a nice stir fry, uh, stew meat, whatever you want to do with it. All right, here we go. We're gonna take some roast off of here. I like to go about two inches. Back here. All right. Take and do a nice little trim cut here. As you can see, I got some fat poking out. Take care of that. There we have a top round roast. This one here is pretty large. I'm trim it up a little bit. What I'm actually going to do here is just chop this baby right in. End up with about two two pound rows. And there we have it. Whole thing cut up. Up with some pretty good looking steaks and roasts.